You may have seen this Balenciaga t-shirt. It's really popular. It's made to look like masking tape. Well, guess what? I made one at home and we did it on this bleached blank. Well, buckle your seat belts because the video starts right now. So I'm gonna show you how you can create a graphic like that and you can use the name of your own company right there or whatever word you like. And we're gonna do it two ways. We can do it the easy way or the hard way. We're gonna start with the easy way, which is just finding a font that looks like tape and just typing the words out. And then we're gonna go on to something a little bit more complicated, but the results are going to be fantastic. Let's go. The easy way. First, go to thefont.com, go to the search bar and put in tape. You will see a whole bunch of different tape style fonts that you can very easily download and install on your system. Another option, but it's not free, is to go to Envato Elements, put in fonts, and then in that search, put in tape. You're gonna see a couple of fonts. I really like this one called Slater's Duct Tape. You just click on it and download, and you have yourself a font. Then you wanna open Illustrator or the program of your choice. And then we're simply gonna type be yourself because typing Balenciaga is not only is that biting, but who would wanna wear something as gaudy and ostentatious as that? So anyway, we're gonna type that out and we're gonna make it bigger. And then we're gonna go over to our fonts and we're gonna go down to Slater's duct tape. And voila, it's almost done. Then we're gonna to go to our swatches panel. We're gonna click this tan right there. We're gonna add that black background that I pulled up and look at that. That is the easy way, ladies and gentlemen. You simply find a font that looks like tape, type it out, Dundale Records. The not so easy way, AKA the hard way. Okay, it's not really hard, it's just more detailed, but the results are gonna be much better. So if you look at the Balenciaga graphic, you can see right where the tape overlaps, the color is slightly brighter, giving it the realistic look of masking tape. And that's what we're about to kind of mimic and reproduce. And then we're gonna go up to type, go down to create outlines, which turns that text into a shape then we're going to take that and dissect it we're going to take it apart and we're going to make little pieces of tape we're just going to take the tops and the bottoms of the text and then we're going to turn them into these little pieces of tape you see that and now we're going to take that tape and turn them into brushes you go up to window down to brushes and we pull that up and then we take them and we pull them in. We click on art brush, okay, okay. And now we just made a brush and we do that for all of these brushes that I just made. And now we can go over the text that we just made like so. And you may be thinking, why? Why would you do that if you already have, why would you recreate what's already there? And the reason why we don't just use the font is because if you see where the brushes that we did interconnect, you don't have that. And that's what you need. You need that overlapping of the brushes in order to create that effect. And guys, if this is too much for you, if I'm going too fast because I'm speeding this up, I have a very slow detail tutorial on my other channel, T-Shirt Design School, links down in the description. So once we get everything pretty much done again with our text, okay, so now we're gonna take that, we're gonna pull it down, and we're gonna go up to Object and go down to Expand Apparent, okay? And we're gonna then go up here, grab a little piece of it, and select the same fill color. Then we're gonna pull that down to separate it from those strokes that we made, right? And now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna go over to our Pathfinder. And we're gonna go down, we're gonna click Divide. And the reason why we're doing this is because I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna take this B, we're gonna bring it over here. 
and we're going to eye drop the colors of the actual graphic okay and we're going to add the colors where it overlaps right here to get that realistic look so we're going to add that and we're going to bring it back and reproduce that throughout the rest of the graphic you see where the tape overlaps that color is slightly brighter than the where the tape is just there and when we divided it we can see the separation so then we go in and change those two colors one a little bit darker and one a little bit lighter let's go ahead and do that and now as we do that for the entire graphic it starts to give you that realistic feeling of it being tape the other one is just it's, it's just it was just a font this one actually looks like tape and that's it guys that is the more realistic way to do it let's print it so we printed our graphic out on our iColor 650 white toner printer. Then we lay down the art, add our adhesive sheet on top, bend the corner, add some parchment paper, and we throw it in there, let it go for two minutes at 320. I use my gloves, plus not a must. And now let's take it out, remove our Teflon sheet, and wipe down with the textile. And now we peel slow and steady wins the race look at that we just made our transfer and then we cut the edges just to any excess adhesive we can get out of there and look at that and now let's get to our blank so we're going to do something cool we are going to take this nice water bottle put some bleach in it and then we're just going to spray it just like this and you can see what it's already reacting so let's go down and do the bottom and then we're just gonna scrunch it up like this and I'm gonna open it up and just gonna pour some on just like that. And I'm gonna do a second one, right? And I'm gonna take that and we're gonna ball it up and then we're gonna put it in some cold water. This stops the bleach reaction, okay? We took it to the laundromat to make sure that they were good and dry and laundered. I'm gonna show you how they came out, but check this out. So guys, I wanna take some time out to tell you about my two new books, Start a T-Shirt Business or Die Trying, the 10th anniversary edition. It's been updated with all the latest information on the T-Shirt industry, including the use of AI. And I wanna tell you about this one, the Start a T-Shirt Business workbook, sketchbook, and journal. This thing is amazing. You go through, you do all the exercises, you fill out all the prompts, you do all the sketches, and at the end, you will be left with an amazing blueprint for how you are gonna start your t-shirt business all right check them out they're both available at amazon.com now let's get back to this video so we put those in the dryer added some coins in this old school bad boy and then we got them out they are looking good that was the first one and that's the one we just did now we're gonna set that down on our platen get it nice we're gonna take that t-shirt help that ruler excel and we're gonna take our art we're gonna just fold it to get that center mark and we're just gonna put it right there and get it nice and squared. And we can adjust it through the holes, take that off, add our Teflon sheet, 320 for 30 seconds, slide it in there and let it cook, put that down and then we're gonna bring it out. Once it's all baked, remove that Teflon sheet you want to take that and let it cool. Then I'm going to take another platen cover. Just put that down so we'll have something cool to lay our t-shirt on. And now we're going to peel. Now we're going to give this a finishing press with our T-seal to give it that nice screen printed look and feel. And then we're going to give it that final peel. Listen. And look at that. We have our tape look. If you look closely, you can see where it overlaps or it mimics the overlap. And you can do whatever you want. You can do your brand. You could do words. You could do whatever you want. Anyway, guys, have fun. And remember where you heard it first. T-shirt help desk.
there you have it awesome graphic and i want you guys to check out this video that i did is another great graphic anyway guys fool around with y'all long enough i'm gonna put some butter on my shoes and slide on out the dough god bless peace t-shirt help brusque